Jaguars by 13 would be my prediction, but the paper football makes the picks around here. Who knows, the Jags might have a harder time this week since the opposing quarterback can't pretend to still play for them. Pretty sure Gardner Minshew just threw another interception as I said that Thursday night football belongs to the Jags. I've got an experiment coming up later in these NFL Week 7 game picks I need your feedback on, but first, Raiders at Bears. Josh McDaniels and the Raiders coming off a victory against his old protege in New England, Bill Belichick and the Patriots. I'm old enough to remember when Josh McDaniels did that in Denver, you know, back when beating Bill Belichick meant something. The paper football said Chicago is going to win somehow. Browns at Colts, depending on who Cleveland rolls out under center, we could see two XFL caliber quarterbacks in this one. Maybe it was too much to expect Gardner Minshew to make it a game against his former team last week. The paper football said not to expect him to do too much again this week. Buffalo at New England, remember there was a time when there was no doubt the Patriots would win this game. Well, now that thought is like New England's head coach, a little too old fashioned. Commanders at Giants, two of the most inconsistent slash disappointing teams in the league this year. I think this is a good point to remind you I have an experiment coming up later. I need your feedback on Washington gets the prediction. In the NFC South, Falcons at Buccaneers. You know, it occurred to me that the Falcons head coach, Arthur Smith, has really filled the void left in the league by Eli Manning when it comes to weird facial expressions. Expect to see more of that when the Buccaneers win in week seven. Lions at Ravens. Detroit seems to be on an absolute warpath right now. I'm picking them because I said I would until proven otherwise, but the paper football said, look out, Detroit. Steelers at Rams, hopefully over their bye week, Pittsburgh figured out how to put a smile on offensive coordinator Matt Canada's face. This one actually has the potential to be a decent game, and the paper football said the coaching booth for the Steelers will have reason to cheer. The intrigue surrounding the Cardinals and Seahawks matchup really took a dive when both teams lost in week six. The paper football said the Seahawks would get the win in this one. Now I'm cutting to studio audio for Packers at Broncos. They don't freak out. This is the experiment I was talking about earlier. What if I were to make my game picks like this? I think Green Bay is going to beat Denver, obviously, and not just because I'm a fan. Let me know if you like this field goal setup for game picks or if I should stick with the cups. I've got to make two out of three so I can predict the Packers to win over the Broncos. That is one. I just got to make one of these two to lock in that prediction. Yes! Chargers at Chiefs, Mahomes and Herbert rarely produce a bad game. As for commercials, uh, winner gets a foot long. The paper football says Patrick Mahomes wins the spokesperson bowl. There once was an actual dolphin named Flipper, but now the Flipper is named Tyreek Hill, and I'm flipping excited for this matchup between Miami and Philadelphia. The paper football says it's going to be the Dolphins. The Vikings need to queue up some extra Creed songs to overcome primetime Kirk Cousins. As for San Francisco, sprinkle in some offensive injuries, and Brock Purdy turns into a wheel of fortune before and after puzzle. I'd like to solve Tom Brady Quinn, but the 49ers are still going to win.